So on Sunday, I drove out to the bug out location and it happens to be in the great state of North Carolina. I had some work to do at the bug out location and take care of some other personal stuff in the area. I was aware of the weather and had planned to leave on Wednesday, but when the weather started getting stupid, uh, you know, I decided to head out early and avoid the mess that was coming at me. As you can see, it's uh, raining already and I'm not even an hour I'm not even an hour into the drive. It's it's pretty crazy. Um, I saw lots of uh, electrical workers uh, doing different things, county vehicles all over the place, kind of preparing for what may happen because, you know, coastal North Carolina has a tendency to flood just a little bit. Uh, and the funny thing is, is with the weather, they said that there was going to be more rain than anything else. You know, um, and uh, as I was driving away from the storm, I started to think about preparedness and how to do it for flooding. I realized that it wasn't much different than actually preparing to bug out. So, you know, uh, I was traveling, you know, I mean, I was traveling right along the rain line of the storm, so I didn't expect much relief at all, you know, uh, and uh, please wait till the end of the video to see what happened. It was, it was pretty surprising. Anyway, when preparing for flooding, you have to know when to go. You have to know when to leave. Now, obviously, you should try and stay where your stuff is, but if you live in a flood-prone area, you have to have a plan and know when to head to higher ground. You should always have a pre-arranged location to head to and meet up with the family, uh, you know, that live with you and... Uh, if you get separated, you should have definitely have a plan. For instance, you might be at work. Things may look like they look exactly like in this video. It's just a little bit of sprinkles, nothing. But then something is really, really coming. You know what I'm saying? So you may be like just trying to get your job done. But, you know, for instance, you might be at work and the wife, wife may have been watching the Weather Channel all day and decided to activate the family bug out plan. Oh, hey, just sitting here working on prep stock stuff. I know that was a cheesy intro, but some people like that kind of stuff. Anyway, guys, prepstock.net. If you have not signed up for prep stock yet, you definitely need to go there. I'll leave a link below someplace so you can go there. Uh, we have instructors lined up. We're going to be teaching several different lectures. There's going to be food. There's going to be a little bit of everything. We're going to have a barter town. You guys are going to have a good time. October this year, Nebo, North Carolina camping. You can stay in hotels. You can eat at fine restaurants. The town is really, really cool. Okay, let's go ahead and get back to the things that you were watching a second ago. Prepstock.net. Shameless promotion. Let's go. You know, uh, you would know, you would know where to meet her uh, and her kids and when to expect her. Uh, you know, you would be at work and you would have to drive there to meet her, you know, all sorts of things happen in a crisis event, you know, um, then there's, then there's your bug out bags. Did you take yours to work? I mean, come on, man. You had to have known the weather could turn bad. It's a freaking tropical storm now. All right. So, so, so you, so you meet up, you settle in. Or, you know, the travel you to the place that you're agreed upon and now you wait. But for how long? You know, it really depends. How long did you plan for? I mean, how long did you plan to be away from home? Uh, these are things you have to think about when you live in a floodplain. You know, then what about your documents? When? I mean, you have to ask yourself when? Are you going to be allowed to return to your home? And when you do, most of your belongings might be destroyed. Then what? Do you have your insurance documents and your phone numbers? Do you have emergency numbers to your friends and family? Do you have the FEMA emergency numbers? And these are all valid questions. Now, as you can see, there are lots of things to think about when it comes to flooding. And I know that I only hit 
the tip of the iceberg on the subject. So get prepped up and get ready. Now, okay, as, as, as far as you can see, the further north I went, the weather got better, but I didn't expect it to be this nice. Almost as soon as I got onto the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel, the sky cleared. And as soon as I got onto solid ground of the eastern shore, the sky turned blue. It was absolutely amazing. Okay, so I hope you like this quick video about flood preparedness. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up on your way out the door. If you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to support the channel, I will leave links below. And until next time, stay safe, have a great day, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye.